Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Nemo coming at you with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video. And today I'm going to teach you guys how you can, you know, traverse around the Goron region or the Death Mountain region and the Elden, you know, part is uh, you basically need to have fireproof gear or some type of fireproof elixir to get, uh, you know, to traverse around everything or you will die pretty quick. And a lot of people are having troubles with this. Even I had a little bit of trouble. But in this video, I'm going to teach you the ropes on how you do this. So before you want to... Uh, before you even go anywhere close to the Southern Mine or Goron City, you're going to need Fireproof Elixirs. And the way that you get Fireproof Elixirs is, you know, there's a couple methods. But the method we're going to use in this video is we're going to get a Fireproof Lizard and Monster Parts. And we're going to put them in a pot and we're going to call it a day. Uh, if you guys want the recipes for every single elixir, check the description. I've got a video on that as well. Uh, so first of all, we have to go into the lower part of the Elden Canyon. The part where we could basically traverse around. This is where I'm at right here. Where we could traverse around and not have to worry about, you know, getting killed by the heat. Um, and we're going to find ourselves a lizard. So we got to find a lizard around here somewhere. Come on, lizard. My lizard friend. Okay, so we got a lizard right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take out your ruin, your camera. And you're going to go ahead and just uh, snap a picture of him. He's looking at you. There you go. Snap a picture. And we're going to go ahead and uh, actually we're going to keep the old picture because the old picture looks really good. Okay, so then you're going to want to go into your, uh, you're going to crouch again, go into your map, and then you're going to hit the Sheikah sensor, so hit Y, and then you're going to select the target of Fireproof Lizard, and every time you get close to a Fireproof Lizard, your sensor will go crazy. So, the way you catch these little buggers is you literally just crouch around and you pick them up. Uh, so, you're going to need at least 15 of these to uh, completely I get all the fireproof uh, gear and the elixirs to actually get up the mountain. So I recommend 15, but you could probably get it done with around 12. Okay, so once you're done finding enough of those pesky fireproof lizards, what you're going to do is to go to a pot so you can start cooking some elixirs. So once you're next to an area with a cooking pot, I recommend Foothill Stable. It is located right here on the map. It's directly south of the Elden Canyon. What you're going to have to do is hit start and you're going to find yourself the... Um, the fireproof lizard you're gonna hold it in your hand and then you're gonna take like you can do any type of monster part i'm gonna just do liz false uh, tail and then you're gonna just drop it into the cooking pot you're gonna sing a little song or dance to the dance a little jingle okay so once that's done you got yourself a 420 blaze it fireproof elixir so once you're done with that you're gonna want to travel uh up into uh goron or i should say elden you're gonna want to go to the southern mine or you can go to goron temp or goron city but I suggest just going to the Southern Mine first. Also, guys, for a really quick pro tip, as you're traveling to the Southern Mine, if you go in these little springs, they actually give you hearts. Okay, so once you're done with that, you're going to want to go into the Southern Mine, and we will get started with getting your free tunic, the fire-resistant tunic. So once you get to the Southern Mine, you're going to see a dude chilling down right there, and he's going to give you a quest to do. It's going to be find and capture 10 fireproof lizards, but you already did that in a safe area. So you're going to talk to Kima, and you're going to be like, yo, man, I've got all the lizards. Let's just do this thing. Let's make the return or let's make the deal. Let's get it. Here you go. Here's your 10 lizards and you get a fireproof tunic, a flame breaker armor. That's the exact name. Okay. So once that's done, you're going to do this. Okay. Talk to this dude. Come on. Chill, 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 chill. Okay. We're going to hit start or select. No start. And we're going to put on our new tunic. Now, having both the uh, the flame breaker boots or, or you know the flame breaker boots and the tunic will allow you to basically traverse all the way in through here. Now, the way that you can get the rest of the flame breaker stuff is you go to Goron City, which is located north of here. You just go into Nor uh, Goron City and you go to this armor shop and you buy yourself some pants, which costs you 700 rupees. Okay, so once you get into the Goron City, you're going to see a little sign right here. And that is the armor shop. And as you guys can see to the left, it's got all the stuff you need. So uh, this right here is the pants or what they call the flame breaker boots. And that costs 700 bucks. This right here costs 600. And of course, this costs 2000 for some reason. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's how you get all the fire resistant gear to be, uh, be able to traverse Death Mountain and not die whenever you're in this Elden region. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's all for this video. If it helped you out, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys could also do me a favor and share this video out to all your friends, that'd be awesome. And until next time, this has been your boy Nemo, and I'm out. Peace.